Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can upload your Laravel project to the cPanel. So here you can see a project and this is my Laravel project, a e-commerce and those are coming from the database. And I want to upload this Laravel project to the cPanel. So before I upload my Laravel project to the cPanel, I need to run some command in the project directory. So here if I just go to my project folder, here you can see e-commerce po this is my laravel project so first of all we'll just go inside the project then in the project directory i am going to open a command prompt here and in the command prompt i am going to write this three command so that i don't get any issue after uploading my project to the cpanel so the first command is php addition config clone cache so i just copy paste it here press enter then we'll run this command square addition route clone cache test it press enter and then our last command is this one we are telling that composer install optimize autoloader node app it means right now we'll upload it to the cpanel so just copy it and paste it here so right now i'll just press enter and there you can see it will just install some required things for our project so this will take a few seconds and there you can see it is done so right now we can just close this and let's just go back and right now what we need to do is that we need to zip our laravel project so i'll just right click here then click here show more options and click here send to and here you can see compressed zip folder so i will just click here and it will start zipping our laravel project and it may take different time depending on your project size and here you can see the zip is complete after that we need to go back to our cpanel and it just log into your cpanel and you need to find the file manager option just click on file manager then you need to find the public underscore html folder and you can see it over here as well just click here public underscore html and here you can see this directory is empty so we need to upload our this zip file over here and how can we do it so after clicking on public underscore html you need to click here on this upload button then you need to select the zip file so here i'll click here select file then here you can see ecommerce pro dot zip is our laravel project I will just select it then click on open and there you can see it is uploading and it may take different time depending on your project size and there you can see the upload is complete so right now if i just uh, click here go back to uh, home in ubisl slash public underscore html it will take us over here public underscore html over here so right now we need to extract this zip file for it i will just right click here then click on extract and we'll extract it over here to this location directly public underscore html location so just click extract files there you can see this extracting and it will take a few seconds to extract the zip file and there you can see the extract is complete so we can just close this and here you can see we have a folder called e-commerce code so we just need to go inside and here you will see all the folders and file here so right now we need to select all of those just click here select all then you need to click here move option then we are going to move our project to directly public underscore html so make sure to select this and click on move files and all the file is moved so right now if we just go to public underscore html there you can see all the file is over here and here you can see the zip file we no longer need this zip file so we can just delete this permanently so we uploaded our laravel project to the cpanel but there is still a lot of things uh, that we need to do first of all we need to set up our database so again let's just go to our uh, cpanel just click here and it will take us to the cpanel then if we now go down here you can see psc my admin and manage my database if i now click on psc my admin it will open our uh, cpanel psc my admin which is this one and here you can see there is no database here so we need to set up a database or create a database so let's go to our cpanel again 
and this time here I am going to click on manage my database. If I now click on it, it will take me to this page and here you can see create new database. So we are going to create a database. Let's say the database name will be e-commerce. So the total database name will be unipixel underscore e-commerce. Unipixel is our domain name and this is the database name. So in total the database name will be unipixel underscore e-commerce. So we can just copy and test it somewhere. Unipixel underscore e-commerce this is our database name so right now after writing this then we need to click on create database also click it here database will be created here you can see added the database so we can just go back and here you can see modify database so it means database is created and also here if we just put our case my admin uh, cpanel and just refresh here you will see the database name and right now for this database we need to create a user so right now we'll go down and here you can see add new user so let's say the new user name will be unipixel underscore e-commerce the same name and for password we're going to use the same name unipixel underscore e-commerce so i'm going to give the password here and here so this is the username and this is the password and our password name was inibical underscore epowers so our database name username and password is basically same so right now i am going to click here create user and there you go a user is created so right now what we need to do is that for the database for this database we need to assign the user so for it what you need to do is that we need to go down and here you can see add user to database so we have only on user and on database that's why by default it will select that so we'll keep it the, uh, the way it is the username and the database and click on add then we're going to select here all privileges we're going to give all privileges then click here make changes and there you can see our this user is assigned to this database so right now uh, here we are going to refresh then click on unipixel underscore e-commerce so in this database there is no table here so what you need to do is that the SQL file for this project we need to upload it over here so you just need to download the SQL file and I already have the uh, SQL file over here you can see so what I'm going to do is that after clicking on the database I'm going to click here this import button then here you can see choose file I'm going to click here choose file then I'll go to my project and here you can see e-commerce pro dot SQL file click on it or select it then click on open so here you can see our uh, SQL file is selected. So we need to go down and click on import. And our import is successful. Right now if I just click on unipixel underscore e-commerce, there you can see we have some table here. So we have uploaded the table. I mean the database table. So right now what we need to do is that we need to set up a few things in our project. So here you can see this is our Laravel project that we uploaded in the public underscore HTML. So here, first of all, we need to modify the .env file. So just click on .env. And if for some reason, if you are not seeing the .env file, just click on setting and check here, show hidden files. Okay. So right now, just right click on .env and here you need to click on edit. Then it will open in different tab. And here you can see db database. So our database name, username and the password all are same right which was unipixel underscore e-commerce so i can just copy this and i can just paste it for the database then the username then the password after that here at the top you can see app url so the app url will be your domain name and for my case the domain name is unipixel.com this on so i'm going to copy this and paste it over here control k so that's all after that we need to click here save changes and it is done
start. So we can just close this. After that, we just need to make one more changes. So right now, if, if we just go to our domain, it will only show us the files and folder. So right now, uh, what we need to do is that we need to go to our public folder. And in the public folder, here you can see we have some folder and some files. So first of all, we are going to select all of those folders and files. So I'll just click here, select all. Then here you can see the copy option click on copy and we are going to move all those files I mean we are going to copy all those files to the public underscore html folder make sure to uh, select this then click here copy files so those files will be copied to the public underscore html directly so let's go to our public underscore html and then we need to find the uh, index.pc file here you can see index.php so we need to make some changes over here so i'll just right click here then click on edit and it will open in another tab and here you can see uh required directory hand dot 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 slash vein dot so we are going to remove the slash and the two dot from here then go down and again remove the slash and two dot from here and that's all so right now here you can see save changes click on save changes and it is stuck so right now if we just go to our domain and just refresh here there you can see we are able to see our laravel project and here those data are coming from the database so this is how you can upload your laravel project to cpanel i tried to make this tutorial as simple as possible if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.